footwork with some power. Wisconsin Badgers. Purdue adding two more conference W's with wins over Ohio State and a top 15 Wisconsin team. They now move up three spots to number 17 in the new AP rankings. So we are joined by Boilermakers big man Isaac Haas. And Isaac, I got to ask you, this looks like a different Purdue team from years past. So what is it that's different about this team? Um, I would just say uh, I feel like we're more complete. You know, going all the way around, uh, we got three-point shooters basically starting the game then coming off the bench. Uh, we have solid bigs, and we got people who can play in between, um, you know, with Vince and Biggie, and uh, it's really helpful to have a really complete team like that who can pass the ball and make shots. It shouldn't be any secret to you that Purdue is one of the favorites to win the Big Ten Conference this season. So why do you think your team will win the conference this year? Uh, I just think because we play together and we know what it takes. Uh, we understand last year uh, with our shortcomings uh, defensively and offensively that, uh, that we had a lot of work to do. And then we did a lot of work in the offseason and prepared ourselves for this year. And uh, we're starting to pay off uh, a little bit right now. And uh, we just got to keep that focus and go on throughout the Big Ten season. It's going to be a grind, but we can do it. Speaking of grinds, you guys had a bit of a nail biter at Ohio State on Thursday. And in talking with Coach after the game, he said wins like that can really help you guys moving forward in the season. So, how did you see a close game like that, a one point win that you really had to grind out, help you when you moved into the Wisconsin game? Uh, well, it kind of shows you that not all your shots are going to fall all the time. So, you know, in the first half, we, we had a few shots go our way, and then they had some shots going their way. But Ultimately, in the grand scheme of things, uh, our shots ultimately weren't falling very well over the entirety of the game. Um, and we were just having to get layups and just grind it out. It was a road game, so some of the calls weren't going our way. And, uh, you know, we were having to rebound and just make really good defensive plays. And it just kind of helped us move towards Wisconsin because they knew, we knew that they were very efficient. And it just, uh, it required us to be very detailed on defense and guarding our man and being able to focus on the small things. And the small things is what got us that win against Wisconsin. Yeah, you guys seem to, in the post, give Wisconsin quite a headache. You had personally 13 points, 5 rebounds. You also had 10 rebounds against Ohio State, really kind of emerging in the second half of that Wisconsin game. But you had struggled a little bit earlier in the season. What kind of adjustments did you personally make to your game? Uh, well, honestly, it was, it was all in the preparation. So, you know, when you go into uh, certain games, you need to have your head straight in you to be focusing on certain things that other teams do. Uh, instead of just yourself, and it was all in the preparation. And in that case, like, I didn't really have the ultimate preparation that I needed to play the best game that I could for those that small stretch where I wasn't playing very well. And, uh, you know, I was just, I got back into my routine and started preparing the way I did, you know, in non conference. And, you know, I've seen a difference so far. Do you feel like in the second half of that Wisconsin game that that was kind of a, an aha moment for you personally? It, it seems if you look at what people were saying, it was like, wow, where did this Isaac come from? Uh, no, honestly, it wasn't an aha moment. I mean, I had that moment, honestly, against Villanova. Um, it was just more of that same mentality. It was just in the preparation itself. And I... Uh, just, you know, sticking with it this year is going to have really helped me and the team uh, rely on our big man game and then being able to kick it out. And obviously, uh, when they sink in to double us, which they're going to have to basically uh, to hit shots from the outside. You guys bounced back from that Minnesota loss to get the win at Ohio State. Now a big win over Wisconsin. How much does this stretch kind of prepare you guys for the rest of the conference season? Um, I would just say it puts us in a really good spot. You know, we're three and one, so we're tied with Nebraska and Michigan State, which are also really good teams that are making really good runs right now. Um, <clears throat> so we we just know that we got to keep working and we got to keep uh, winning games. And in order to do that, you're just going to have to uh, keep that focus and mentality about you. 
What's it like playing alongside Biggie? We've talked so much about how he's in the conversations for National Player of the Year. What can you take away from playing with a guy like that? Uh, just the way he works. Honestly, he, he's a really good, uh, good and hard worker. So it's just uh, you just kind of take that from him. You just got to, you know, apply it to your own game. What can I do to make the team better? And, you know, uh, it kind of hit me when I was watching film um, by myself in my room on my laptop that, you know, that, that he was just going to get rebounds. He wasn't really caring about anything else. He wasn't caring about the small things. He was just playing. And uh, it was just a kind of an eye-opener for me. It kind of helped me understand that I really need to go and just get the ball and go and just score the ball. Don't worry about everything else. And uh, it's helped me so far. All right, Isaac. Thank you so much for joining us, and best of luck with the rest of the season. All righty. Thank you.